evening, good people. Welcome back to a moment on Mondays with your girl, your sister. I'm your friend and personal growth coach, Stephanie R. Strong. And this morning, I'd like to speak to you about the faker. Now, you know, you know that we're surrounded by lots of fakers. No matter what part of society we are involved in, whether it's at home, work, church, society, uh, at large, or whether it's in community, they're just fakers everywhere we go. But there's one faker that I like for you to pay attention to. And that faker is named fear. And the reason why I call fear a faker is for a number of reasons. But let's start with the idea that fear is actually meant to alarm us when we are in a dangerous situation. To avoid harm so that we can flee or fight. <laughs> but to avoid harm. Now... If I put this in perspective to what this video is really about, I am actually referring to this fear that fakes itself as something that's real, something that's tangible, something that's that you can experience in the material world. And what I mean by that is this picture that you have conjured in your head, that you have created in your mind, that keeps you from moving and advancing to the next level or to your next assignment to cause you to take actionable steps in where you are trying to go. See, there are a lot of imaginary things that happen in our minds because that's what we do. We sit up and we create imaginary foes. But your greatest foe is your mind that is untamed, undisciplined, and allowed to run rampant and roughshod all over your life. So fear fakes itself as being something real for you to not move or not take an action step towards your goals. And a lot of times, in most cases, the thing that you actually fear, it doesn't even exist. I'm telling you, it's the God honest truth. If you are fe if you fear failing, how do you know you're gonna fail unless you try? And if you tried and failed, it really isn't a failure because at least you tried. So whatever picture or image or scenario you created, you have created in your mind about why you are not um, doing the next thing next, it doesn't even exist. It does not exist. So you don't have to worry about it causing you any harm. You don't have to resist it. You don't have to fight it. What you have to do is embrace the challenge and take an action step today. No more of this business about I'm scared or what if. It doesn't even exist. That space and time does not exist. It's imaginary. Do you understand what I'm saying? So today... You actually have the opportunity to do at least one thing that you have been afraid of doing in order to go to the next level or to make uh, uh, some progress in what you're supposed to do next and realizing your dreams or your goals. This idea about fear, it stops today, seriously. That's something I have to tell myself uh, often. Do something today that you've never done before. That works in harmony with where you're trying to go. I'm so serious when I say this. Well, that's all that I have for you today. Don't get bamboozled by the faker. Because all fear does is mask itself as something real when it really is not. I will see you on next Monday. Make sure you come and see me at presencewithpurpose.net. And don't forget to pick up a copy of my book, When Tulips Bloom, a personal guide for blossoming through the difficult seasons of life. I will see you on next Monday. But until then, make this your best day ever.